on MTN, a COVID hotspot. There were times that I <laughs> was just like, okay, I'm done. Cases are once again on the rise, prompting one federal building in Billings to re-implement a mask mandate. And tickets up for grabs. When it benefits the Grizz too, that makes it even a little bit more special. If you're looking to get inside Washington Grizzly Stadium on Friday night, there's your chance, thanks to several Billings businesses. The MTN 430 News starts right now. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday. I'm Andrea Lutz. COVID-19 is once again rearing its ugly head with cases spreading quickly across our area of Montana. There is a new map from the Centers for Disease Control showing Yellowstone County, several surrounding areas at a high level of hospitalizations. Yellowstone saw 43 hospitalizations from the virus just last week alone. It is one of a few areas across the nation seeing that type of an outbreak. Those cases now prompt the Department of Interior and the Social Security Office in Billings to re-implement mask mandates. And Laurel Mayor Dave Wagoner is recovering from the virus. He says the symptoms can still be pretty severe. There were times that I <laughs> was just like, okay, I'm done. But um, wow. it was a really tough flu, yeah. a really hard flu that I had. Scratchy throat, uh, head congestion. I didn't get sick with nausea or anything, mm -hmm. uh, didn't lose my smell, taste. Um, it just was a really bad flu, it seemed like. Wagoner is now back at work, but says the rest of his family is dealing with the virus. We're gonna have much more on this story and this spike of COVID cases coming up at 530. With the uptick in cases, schools across the nation are on high alert as well, but now it'll be easier for them to diagnose positive tests much earlier. Evie Ramos explains. The Departments of Education and Health and Human Services are partnering up to make free COVID-19 antigen tests available for schools nationwide. The announcement comes as COVID hospitalizations rise. Officials say they expect cases to spike during the winter months. People gather indoors around the holidays with loved ones, both old and young those that need protection from some of these respiratory viruses. We spoke to the HHS Assistant Secretary for Preparedness and Response about this new program. For schools to be able to share uh, free tests with their students, with their staff, with their teachers, with their communities, so that will go a long way towards keeping many of these communities safe and at least aware of whether or not they have COVID. The first round of tests will be shipped out starting the week of December 13th. We have ample supply and assuming that demand is there, we'll continue to make these tests available as long as we feel like we can. School districts across the country will be able to keep the tests on site or send tests home with students. The opportunity for a teacher to be able to keep their classroom safe in this way, I think is really uh, important in, you know, as we head into this respiratory season. If you want free tests sent straight to your home right now, just scan the QR code on your screen. It'll take you to covidtests.gov where you can order up to eight free tests per household. The war rages on in Gaza today with Israel's military intensifying attacks as it hunts for Hamas militants. An official with the World Health Organization says the situation for Palestinians is getting worse. This morning, defense forces unleashed some of the fiercest bombardments in southern Gaza since the war began. Gaza's health ministry says ambulances are having difficulty reaching the injured and patients who do make it to hospitals are being treated on blood covered floors. The United Nation warns as the war continues, an even more hellish scenario could be unfolding for civilians. House Republicans are moving to potentially formalize the impeachment inquiry of President Biden in the coming days. Joe St. George looks at the impact it may have on the race for president and how another impeachment vote could compare. Could the country soon be on the cusp of another impeachment vote of an American president? Well, it's certainly possible after House Republican leadership has signaled a vote to formally open the impeachment inquiry of President Biden may be on the horizon, perhaps as early as next week. If that happens, we could see more public hearings looking into the finances of President Biden and his family, as well as the actions that his son Hunter Biden may or may not have taken in recent years. Impeachment has been historically rare. President Andrew Johnson was impeached by the House but acquitted by the Senate. So was former President Bill Clinton. Former President Trump was impeached 
impeached twice by the House and in both times acquitted by the U.S. Senate. Once again, it is possible we could see an impeachment by the House of President Biden with the expectation that he would eventually be acquitted by the Senate. No president has actually ever been removed from office. One of the key Republicans to watch in all of this, Congressman Jim Jordan of Ohio, he told reporters this week that the inquiry would focus on possible corruption, but that Republicans have not yet made a decision on what the charges against President Biden would be. The White House has been quick to attack this, calling it, quote, a baseless smear campaign and denying any wrongdoing. All of this does set up the possibility of the 2024 election, not just being a rematch, but a rematch between two individuals, former President Trump and President Joe Biden, who have been impeached by the House of Representatives and acquitted in the Senate. An example of how impeachment, once reserved for the highest crimes and misdemeanors, is now being used more often in American politics. Joe St. George, Scripps News, Washington. Another warm and windy day, another one in store for tomorrow. The temperatures really sailed today and tomorrow could even be a little warmer into some locations. More 50s, low 60s. You know that's going to come with more wind. But even as we start to see a cool down, periods of wind could linger in towards Thursday. Tomorrow could actually increase the risk of uh, at least grassland fires. But by the weekend, temperatures are more typical for this time in December. But will it bring any rain or snow? Forecast details are coming up. Another round of FCS playoff games is just three days away, and tickets for the Grizz game against Furman in Missoula are going fast, as expected. So a few Billings business owners are doing their part to help get fans to the game. It all began with Kelsey Meyer, who operates an event planning company in town, looking to give her season tickets away for free. Well, that quickly caught on with other several businesses joining in to do the same. Altogether, 50 tickets are being donated, and they're up for grabs. Thing just kind of snowballed. Other businesses jumped in and said like, hey, we'd love to contribute as well. Um, like I said, I think as Montanans and specifically as Grizz fans, we just really uh, pride ourselves in filling that stadium and, and being loud. Montana is set to take on Furman under the lights at 7 o'clock on Friday night in Missoula. That game will be televised on ESPN2. Still to come on the MTN 430 News here on Q2 on the hardwood. Billing Central basketball looking to return to form and make another state run this season. But first, another warmer day outside. But how long are these temperatures going to stick around? Ed lets us know right after this.